May the 2017. Guys, happy Memorial Day weekend. And let me say this, before the weekend's over, remember what Memorial Day is for. Uh, my father served in World War II. My youngest brother uh, served in the Navy. Both are past. And that's what it's about. Now, everyone have a good time. And uh, I went down, checked my sailboat out during the week before the weekends got crowded, spent two days, and uh, cranked up the old diesel and broke out the sails. But the main thing about this weekend, again, the Memorial Day ce celebration, is none of us that are celebrating, whether on the beach or on the river, lake, at home, work, whatever, would be doing what you're doing if this was not a protected country. And it's protected by the blood of our veterans. So never forget that. But that's a reminder, but the video is about uh, three anti-Trump leakers have been identified. They have been referred to proper authorities and expected to be fired soon. Now, this was coming out while Trump was overseas. And me, like probably many of you, were very skeptical of mainstream saying, why is Trump leaving now with the White House in chaos? Well, the White House has never been in chaos if you look at the uh, real polls around the nation, they're saying Trump's polls are way down. It's not. It's the mainstream media pushing that anti-Trump bias, which is not just anti-Trump. It's anti-American because we, the voters, chose this president. But uh, as he was overseas, he let first Saudi Arabia and 54 nations of the Middle East know that it was up to them to stop the terrorist regime. Then he went to Europe and let NATO and Merkel and that uh, bunch of lunatics know that uh, you're going to pay your own way through NATO and no, I'm not signing any G7 agreement about climate change. It's all a trick to bring in the U.S. taxpayer dollars, and he's aware of that. He said he would let them know next week about it. Merkel is throwing a fit, which tickles me because her ma mass migration policies uh, has brought Europe to its knees. One other thing I want to say about this video, <clears throat> it will not be v very popular because of the uh, mainstream attack on truth about the Trump mission. You put it that way, or the Trump agenda, anything you want to say about it from mass migration to the border walls or anything else. It's not going to be that popular, and you'll see it in the numbers. But let me say this about a paradigm shift that I see coming. Just as I saw as Trump left, that the White House was going to get a good cleansing. Just as if you uh, go on vacation, you might let the exterminators come in and spray for the roaches and the swamp creatures and clean house. Good way to do it. Let the rest of the world know your plans, and then when you get back to D.C., the rest of the world has heard it. D.C. has heard it. The Swamp Monsters has heard this, and they are trembling in their boots. They have tried every way in the world to try to impeach our president. In the attempt to hide Pizzagate, the Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton Foundation, those crimes... The crimes of uh, our president, ex-president Obama about selling out our nation and trying to destroy our borders. I know it won't be popular, but here's the paradigm shift. Just as we're seeing the uh, ICE immigrant officers going into the sanctuary cities of California now, once they've declared, no, you won't, they're wiping out some of these gangs, even as we speak. Over this weekend, they're arresting these gang members in the sanctuary cities. It's amazing. He's doing exactly what he said, exactly what we voted him in for, and we are under attack from a deep state mainstream media agenda that wants a one world system. But in the paradigm shift, I think that we're going to be able to depend on our president to protect, uh, protect independent broadcasters like myself and many hundreds of others from this harassment by mainstream media and 
social media. That's what I'm looking forward to, and I think that more and more people that are under suppression for talking about the pro-Trump agenda and the pro-American tradition that is protecting everyone here, even the protesters and the snowflakes, you're being protected because of what is going on now. It's amazing that this, what I would call a uh, dumbing down of the American children through a common core, to where they re a lot of them really are not up to date on what's happening. History is being hidden. It's not being taught. Communism is not being referred to in uh, uh, political science. Government, things like that in high school, junior high, junior college, college. It's all being left out. All they're being taught now in many ways is how to resist. But we're going to see a shift in this. I have a feeling that President Trump is going to step in and say it's enough of this censoring. You allow mainstream media to lie time and time again. And by the way, I'm, I think that he has set up legal precedents to go in and take these people down. It's called perjury. Liable. But anyway, I had to get that off my chest. But they again, the three leakers have been referred to proper authorities. At least two separate news organizations are reporting that three distinct leakers have been identified at the White House and that President Donald Trump is expected to fire them when he returns from his first overseas trip, which he's back now. CBS News is one of them. They have confirmed two sources that three leakers of classified information at the White House have been identified and expected to be fired. Officials within the Trump White House believe leaks of Mr. Trump's conversation with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov are a deliberate attempt by officials who are holdovers from the President's Obama administration on trying to damage the Trump presidency. That's exactly what's happening. And it's surprising to see any of the mainstream news talk about that. But I have noticed, and many of you have also, a shift in mainstream. <clears throat> They're kind of getting away from continuous attacks on Trump. And I'm seeing a few things brought up about Hillary and Obama. It's kind of amazing. But they, in addition, the White House correspondent Trey Yentz has reported that three White House leakers have been identified report, uh, and referred to the proper authorities, probably the Justice Department. Yentz wrote on Twitter that the three leakers have been carelessly leaking classified information to hurt President Trump politically and that Trump is expected to fire multiple people connected with the network of leakers upon his return to the White House. Guys, that's talking, we're talking about draining the swamp. And remember I said at the first of the video, it felt like as he was going overseas to let the rest of the world know about it, he was opening this vacuum in D.C. that can be flushed very quickly. But uh, I think it's a great thing. Now, I don't know who the three will be. Now, I know that Sean Spicer came back from so after the Saudi Arabian conference as well as Prince Priebus. Now, I don't know much about um, Spicer and his loyalties, but I do know that Prince Priebus was heavily anti-Trump when the Republican nominations began, when we started seeing the delegates go up against each other. He was very anti-Trump, and he was could have been a remnant of the swamp creatures left behind. But guys, this is what's going on, and again, keep your heads up. There are a lot of YouTubers now, and I noticed, and I've been having to be careful. You want to protect your platform. I understand that. But every once in a while, you have to be a patriot and step outside those bounds and say how you feel. I don't care if you're a UFO channel, whatever you do. Every once in a while, be a patriot. Step outside that box and speak up for the freedoms that you enjoy. And that's what you should be doing. And one other note on that, <clears throat> on YouTubers especially, when you disclose military movement, whether it's equipment, troops, or whatever it is, you're being a traitor to our country. And I, I'm a, from a military family. I have a son in the Air Force in Kuwait now. 
and I don't appreciate it. There's a lot of veterans that don't appreciate it, and uh, you're going to find out how we don't appreciate that very soon. It's a heads up. Be safe.